Hi everyone, I'm Beth in Texas and this is Fresh Off the Hook Wednesday. Don't have much to show you this week because I've been working on this afghan and I only do like small projects in between and the project in between I did was a knitted mother bear with a crocheted scarf. And this is mother bear number seven. If you uh, recognize the yarn, it is what I did in that ripple, the purple and green. So, um, so yeah, this is mother bear number seven. And um, after I get quite a few of them, I'm going to shove them all in one box and ship them off. And if you're interested in joining mother bear or helping out with it, you can go to their website. I'll have a link in the description below the video. These go to children who are affected by AIDS in Africa. And often this is their only toy. And on the Mother Bear website, they have pictures of the children holding their bears. So, um, and if you don't knit or crochet and you just like looking at what we've done, they also have people sponsor bears so that they can be shipped because it costs a lot of money to ship them. Um, or, you know anything like that so there there's all kinds of things that can be done to help out with mother bear besides knitting and crocheting um i've also worked out on my martha stewart loom that last bear i did was uh, martha stewart one this one i knitted in the round with double pointed needles even though he's my seventh bear he's the first one i did that way so i really like the knitted bear actually more than the crochet one because he's softer and more cuddly so um the, the crochet one kind of came out stiff. So anyway, that's my mother bear. And the only other thing is not finished that I have to show you. And I was working on this before. It's one of my, one of those 15 unfinished things that I showed you. And I did a few more rows on it. And here it is so far. Let me back up. This is going to be a crib size afghan or a lap robe. And so that's how far as I got with it. Um, I got the pattern from All Free Crochet and it's called Granny Square Crib Afghan. Now the way I put mine together is different than what it has in the pattern. They want you to sew it together. But I'm using my continuous join method every time I go to put together. So I had to do one less round on this um, section here. And now I'm going to do another section where I'm going to crochet all the way around it. I'm going to have to count how many rounds because the number of stitches on the side is going to match the number of stitches in the squares that go across the side. Is that, it's, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, just to make the, the numbers match up. So that's what I'm working on. And hopefully by next week we will have it finished. Um, I have something else to say. I know I do YouTube videos and crochet alongs, but everything, not everything that I make, I am able to do a video on. I, every time, it seems like every time I do a fresh off the hook video, people ask me, do a tutorial on that hat, do a tutorial on that blanket. I have a list of about 30 things that I want to make a tutorial on. And I'm already having trouble finding enough time to doing to get it to that list. And I don't mind you making suggestions and things like that, but don't expect me to say yes to everything. And most of the things I show, if I followed a pattern, I will post a link to the pattern. If it's something I designed myself, I will tell you the things that I designed myself, I don't mind doing videos on. Things by other people, that's a little more difficult for me to do. Um, so, but like I said, I don't mind suggestions or asking questions. That's perfectly fine. But, um, yeah, uh, if I say, tell, link you to the pattern, uh, don't expect a video because like I said, I already have too many videos that I have yet to make. So, um, I hope you understand and, um, I want to thank everybody for their support and their kind comments and their kind words. Um, I had posted on Facebook, uh, had some really rude comments and cursing. Somebody cursed at me and I didn't do anything wrong to them. So, and I've had a lot of encouragement from 
from my Fresh Off the Hook family. And I really appreciate that and want to thank you for that. Um, it, you know, usually I let the negative comments just roll off my back and I delete them and move on. But once in a while, they just get to me. Especially when there's like no reason whatsoever for them to be rude to me. So, um, my mother always says, well, you need to pray for their lost souls. <laughs> so, that's what she used to tell me. When somebody's like that, there's definitely something wrong in their life. Um, so yeah, and I really, I really love the kind words and the and the positive comments and um, and I'm rambling. So I want to just tell you all happy crocheting and I will see you next week and hopefully next week I'll have more stuff to show. I'll talk to you later.